Good morning. Welcome to Yoga Galactica live stream live from our homes and hearts to yours. <laughs> we were gone one day and it was a tough day and I'm really happy to be here. I'm going to share this quickly on my Facebook page before I share about a few things and so glad to be here. Good morning everybody world. How are you all doing today? Good to be back. Sorry we missed a day here. And yeah, like Kamala says, it's it's been getting intense, and I'm sure you're all feeling it too. And it's not really necessarily intense in a bad way. It's just intense in a way that we haven't really experienced before. You know, I don't think any of us, I, in fact, I know none of us in our lives have ever experienced something like this before. So this is all uh, monumental, it's all brand new, and we're still trying to figure out how to work with it. Bella's got a, so a proud sock in her mouth, that's what she does. She is part pit bull, part retriever, and part of her duty as a dog is to retrieve things, and she wants me to play with it, with her, but I'm not gonna do that because it's mom's sock. And uh, you know, half the fun of these quick shifts is you guys getting to see our dogs so here's bella okay let it go thank you and then girly and Bodhi and buddha's right over there and uh <laughs> yeah so yesterday was a little bit of a challenging day we had some speed bumps come up in the whole situation but we're really glad to be back um, like kamala said even just one day of not doing this feels like an eternity and you know we're definitely doing this for the community but we're also doing this for us for us to be able to stay anchored and grounded and have <clears throat> at least one thing that we do consistent every day i have i actually have a handful of things that i can do that i do consistently every day including uh, meditation and walking the dogs and exercise but other than that, it's all fairly nebulous. So this live quick shift keeps us anchored and lets us feel connected. So I'm glad we're back. I'm glad we got through whatever we were going through. And it's not like we were really going through anything. It's more well, just- Well, I was. I know, but I mean like we- Oh, oh, our, our relationship. Our relationship wasn't going yeah. through anything. It was more like well, we were going through things as individuals yeah. which put strain on the relationship not in a bad way it just you know you know how it goes people you're all in relationships you've all been in relationships and uh, it can be a little bit challenging but ultimately we love each other immensely and we love giving back and we love what we do and uh, I'll do. let you talk for a little bit yeah and you know the interesting thing is that I really noticed yesterday is that there's no amount of love in the world that can pull you out of certain dark places. Um, I mean, there is, of course. But yesterday, I'll be really honest with you, I, I, was, I got extremely depressed. Um, on Tuesday night, Siri told me that he wasn't sure that he wanted to do quick shifts anymore. So on Wednesday, um, I woke up and I, I was thinking, well, I'll just take this day off and and uh, and I'll relax and Bella don't okay. And and that's not what happened. I actually um, I went into a really dark place and um, and I, I just couldn't pull myself out. And I'll be even more honest. I went into such a dark place. A lot of you know that I've been sober for 12 years, all going on either 12 or 13 years. May 15th is my sobriety date. Good chance that we'll be in quarantine during then. Um, since that date, I have never had the urge to drink. Thank great spirit, source, Pachamama, everyone. Um, <laughs> Um, and I actually, I got, I went to such a dark place that I actually thought, um, had this thought about, well, if the world's going to end, then why, why am I not drinking? And the thing is, is that if I drink, my world will end for sure. And, um, and I was just so, 
I got anxiety. I started, I, and I just cried and cried. And the things that mean the most to me are community, my animals, my relationships, and I should be saying myself, right? That should be the first and foremost thing. That's what I preach, that's what I teach. And, you know, and the thing is, is that um, I, st I suffer from depression. And so when I do go into, like many people, when I do go into a dark place, um, it's very hard to come out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one thing that I needed to do was feel something other than my shit coming down on me. I needed to feel anything other than that because I was so dark and down in my wormhole that I was just not able to um, come out. And one of the things that really helped me come out of places like that is reading poetry. <laughs> um, and so I went to... I have this book, The Sun and Her Flowers, by this amazing woman, Rupi Carr, and she writes from the heart. She writes in a way that is so beautiful, like you can feel the words. And the poem that I first uh, that I first read that really got me, and I'll just read it to you right now, it was so beautiful, was... Um, The first one that I read was, um, it was this, look at what they've done, the earth cried to the moon, they've turned me into one entire bruise, entitled Green and Blue by Rupi Carr, and that one just got me, because it's like, look what we, look what we have done to our earth, you know? Look what we've done to ourselves. Look what we've done. Period. And um, and then there was this one. The irony of loneliness is we all feel it at the same time. That's entitled together. And I started feeling something other than me and my shit and my loneliness and my darkness. And I, I went to Siri and I told him what was going on and in tears and I said, uh, well, he asked, asked, he asked me, Are, is everything okay? Because I couldn't breathe. I was getting anxiety because I've never thought about drinking and I started feeling like this anxious feeling in, in my body. And um, <sighs> we are all in this together. We are all feeling this in different ways, but this is one of the first times in the history of our lives here that we have all been going through something together at the same time. And um, you know what fills me up most is offering to the community and feeling like I'm in touch, reading poetry, reading, writing, those things. And I need to remember that because so often I feel um, that I'm not enough and uh, there's something I've been really wanting to offer to the world I feel like it's something that it would change people's lives and time in quarantine it's something that pulled me out of so much darkness and it's it's spinning toy and I have such a problem with thinking that I am not enough that I had to try to th I was trying to think of some gimmicks and I had to do this and I had to be funny and I had to dress up and I had to wear makeup and I had to do all this shit and I think I just need to drop the veil and just realize that um, that I do have something to offer and that I am worthy, <laughs> you know? And it's just, it's so hard at this time because you feel like you're so alone. But that one poem just reminding me that we're all in this together. It really helps. So I just want to say that I feel you all so much. And I can't wait to see you all. And I'm so grateful to be able to share here, even to this, you know, if, even if it, it touches or something that we say helps one person, I feel like that's enough. So I'm gonna try to become 
as real as I can and share more often. I haven't posted one thing on Facebook or Instagram. I've been so like in my own thing. I mean, we've been doing this, but but that's it. So I just want to again thank you all so much for watching and for for being here. And there is one more thing that I want to read just to remind us that we are all in this together. <laughs> thank you, Eric, so much. Your messages, I'm getting messages from people right now, and I just want to say thank you so, so much. Um, I appreciate you all. And I will read and respond to them immediately after. Um, so this poem is again by Rupi Carr, and she is doing a live stream this Friday night. Um, it's just going to be this flow of poetry and I am going to be there watching it because poetry is soul food for me. All right, so just sit up tall. Let's, whew, huh, let's take a deep inhale because I want you to hear this with your eyes closed so you can really feel it. Deep inhale. And sigh it out. Ah. into your breath, slow and deep. <sighs> like all of you, I've been confronting a lot this past month. There's been tears. It's hard to sleep at night thinking of the tens of thousands who've passed, about how permanently this is affecting people. Yes, this virus doesn't discriminate. We are all at risk of catching it but none of us have the same access to care. I've been thinking about migrant workers and hourly wage earners across the world who live off the means they make in a day. When their country shut down, they weren't given any, given any protection. I truly believe the most underprivileged are being sent to slaughter because the governments don't think they're worth saving. Since there's no transportation, migrant workers who have nothing left in their pockets are leaving once bustling cities on foot, walking hundreds of kilometers back to their villages. A video of an Indian woman over the age of 90 has been circulating online. Her walk home is 400 kilometers long. I have everything in the world and I don't know how to help her. My heart is torn. Here in the industrialized world, Many don't have the option to socially distance. Everyone from incarcerated people to grocery store workers and undocumented farm workers and more. The weight of this is dizzying, but we have to have hope in order to continue forward, right? I'm hoping the world doesn't go back to the way it was. Our systems of organizing society have to change. I'm hoping we can hold minimum wage workers in the same high regard as we hold our own CEOs and celebrities. We can't afford to leave people behind. We have the means on this planet to completely end poverty, introduce universal health care, and end the hoarding of wealth. If we don't become complacent, we can accomplish this together. I'm tired of ignoring issues that don't affect our personal lives by thinking, that's not my problem. It is our problem. We are each other's problem. We have to care for one another. This pandemic is proof of that. Rupi Carr. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. And um, R U P I C A U R, Rupi Carr. Oh, yeah, sorry. And I'm going to post these uh, readings, but. You know, I think one of the things that stemmed and started all of this was I did go on social media for a minute on, uh, on Tuesday night, and I started seeing so many people hitting this, I'm just going to call it a wall almost, like I was. It's like I was feeling so good, so positive, all of this, almost like living in a little bit of a bubble, not wanting to feel, not wanting to, to just feel it all. And I let myself feel it all yesterday. And I'm grateful for it, even though it was so, so hard. 
we are in this together. And when we show up and we do even little things like this together, we feel a connection. We feel a sense of community that is so, so important. And if you do go out and you see someone walking on the street, or if you see somebody that looks like they just can bear, they're barely making it, keeping your distance, say hi, smile. You know, we can do more. And I'm going to, I'm going to do more. So I love you all. And with that being said, thank you for listening. And uh, let's get started. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. And thank you, everyone, for your beautiful comments. I want to read them all, and I want to reply to them from my heart. So I wanted, I'd like to do that after yoga, if that's okay. I uh, love you. Love you all so much. Oh, all right. You want me to start? Either way, my love. Whatever you want to do. I'll do it. All right. Okay. So. <sighs> sitting on this mat. Sitting on the earth, which literally this ball floating in the sky connects all of us. We are all touching it right now in some way. Every single human on this earth is connected by this planet. So just feel that for a minute. Take a deep inhale. Hold at the top, sipping a little more. And just feel that connection. Whatever feelings that comes up, there is no wrong. And powerfully exhale the breath out. And hold empty, turn your palms up. And in this emptiness, just think of a few things you're grateful for right now. And let that gratitude fill you just a little or a lot. Deep inhale, bring it in. And let's open the mouth, fearlessly sigh it out. Ah, shake your hands, head, shoulders, make a little noise. Let's rub the palms, fingers, knuckle, creating a little friction and heat. Inhale. And as you exhale, coming back to stillness. Except for the breath. And if you think about it, there's another thing that connects us, this air, this spirit of air. We're all breathing it right now at the same time. Every single living person is breathing right now, so we're connected by the earth, by the air, by fire, by water. All of it connects us in such beautiful ways. So just take a moment to be so grateful for these connections that we have. Maybe thinking about feeling them a little more today, remembering that connection. Bow your chin to your chest and place your hand on your heart or in the center of your chest. And yet another connection, our hearts, every single living being has a heart or a system that is working right now, keeping us alive. So thank you for this life that is taught all of us so much in so many different ways. We each have so much to share. So holding your body, thinking about what you have to share and being grateful for that. Being grateful for your health and your body's ability to heal. And just taking a moment to send yourself some good energy, some love, some gratitude. And inhale, open the arms wide. Exhale, bring the arms around your body. Give yourself a big hug. 
Just imagine holding those you love. And let's imagine giving this beautiful planet a huge hug as we thank her for all of her resources, for everything she provides to us every single day that so we may thrive here. Just taking another moment of gratitude for this great planet. Mama Gaia, Pachamama, we bow to you, we thank you, and let's make a pact to protect this planet and to really give back to the earth to give back, period. Sending the earth some love. And inhale, sitting tall. Sigh it out. Ah. Ah. Inhale, pull your shoulders to your ears. Squeeze. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. And again, inhale, pull them up. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. Big rolls. Inhale, pull them up. Exhale, roll the shoulders down. Let's reverse that. Inhale, back it up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back it up. Chin parallel to the 
the body, you did that. Good job, Libby. And let's go ahead and we're gonna stand up. My Bella, my B. Let me get through to his bed really quickly. Hard to do this with you here, Bill. Okay. So standing up tall, stretch your arms to the sky. Ah, beautiful. Open the arms nice and wide. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, you're going to bring your right hand to your left foot. Inhale up. And exhale, right hand over to the left foot. Next fingers to the sky, exhale, fold to the right. Press the left heel down, breathing here. Go as far as you can fold, and that's perfect. Thank you. 
take it out a bit. Good. Let's uh, take our feet a little wider than hip width distance apart. Place your hands on your hips. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, rotate your hips over to the right and then back. Nice and slow. Big circle. And then inhale forward. Exhale back. Remember which way you're circling right now. Circling to the right. Sometimes I forget. Inhale forward. Biggest circles you can make. And if you encounter a tight spot, hold in that spot and breathe. powerful prayer. We have to forgive ourselves and know that we're always doing the best that we can. And let's jump into some breath work. So 
coming down, lying on your back as we prepare to do a few rounds of the Wim Hof breath, one of our favorite breathing techniques to practice and to share. <clears throat> Most of you that have been practicing with us know this breath, but just as a refresher, what we're going to be doing is laying down on our back. We're going to be taking about 40 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth. The exhale is also through the mouth, and it's a soft exhale. Big breath in, soft exhale. It sounds like this. So go ahead and jump right in. That's it. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Big breath, soft exhale. Pull it in, let it go. We're doing the Wim Hof breath, 40 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth, soft exhale, you're lying down on your back, good, seven, eight, that's it, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, pull it in, let it go, pull it in, let it go. Get it. 
molecular, cellular, atomic, quantum level. Thank you. 
In the darkest of times, I've seen us become our brightest, standing on balconies and singing to the empty streets below us. We managed to crack jokes in the saddest times, put the vulnerable before us, dance in the hospitals to keep ourselves going risk our bodies to heal the sick. Sometimes it takes a crisis to remember our lives depend on each other. We will end up nowhere if we try to go it alone. And while people are losing each other, 
and people are saving each other. People are also getting to work. As the world wakes to uncertainty, canvases that sat collecting dust for the past five years are finally being stretched. Books are being written. Inventions are falling into little heads everywhere because there's nothing better to do with this time than be useful. And I can't think of a more beautiful way to pull ourselves together. I don't think there's a more human way to survive. So you take a nice big inhale and exhale it out. Another big oh. breath in. And soft exhale, let the fingertips and toes begin to wiggle and move, rolling the wrists, the ankles, the hands, the feet, stretch the arms up and over the head and squeeze through the whole body. And as you relax, bring the knees up into the chest, hands on top of the knees and begin to draw circles in one direction. And then draw circles in the opposite direction. And then wrap the arms tightly around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And when you're ready, begin to rock yourself up and down on your spine, rocking up and down, up and down. And then rock yourself all the way up into a seated position here on your mat. And sitting up tall, keeping the eyes closed, take the hands, rub them together, create some heat, some friction, and then bring the hands into prayer position into the center of the chest. And as we breathe here, slow and smooth in these final moments, first and foremost, bless up the space that you practiced in today, your home, your room, your office, outside, wherever you are, just see it all surrounded by a brilliant shining light and bless it. And then now take this moment to send some good love and healing energy to somebody in your life that needs this right now. Let it flow from your heart to theirs and see them receiving it with gratitude, love, joy, happiness, and smiling. And then take this same light and spread it all across this beautiful earth, sharing peace, love, joy, hope, happiness, prosperity, health. abundance, health to all and everything here on this planet. And then let the chin fold into the chest, turning inward here, seeing this light radiating from deep within you. You are a being of light. And then extending this to our teachers, our mentors, and all of those that have shared with us along this journey so we may be able to practice and share today. We are forever blessed. Satnam. Satnam. Namaste. Namaste. Aho. Aho. Blessed be. Blessed. ready just let your eyes slowly blink open with a soft gaze and just feeling all of these shifts and waves of love and gratitude through your body within you around you we can feel it we thank you so much for joining us today powerful practice I feel the more vulnerable and raw and emotional we are the more there's a connection so we will just keep doing it and we love you guys so much thank you Kamala for shining and going through that seemingly dark tunnel and bursting through the other side with hope and love and joy and i love you i see you you are amazing thank you yes working on it yes and again thank you so much for tuning in um we are going to continue to do this tonight we have our 7 30 evening class so join in then for a second shift of the day all of these classes are archived in our video section, so you can retake any of them at any time. Please leave a comment, share, um, let us know how you're doing. We love to hear from you. Kamala is really good at responding to all the comments. I read them all, so it really means a lot. Um, if you can, and if you're feeling called to, you can kindly leave a donation via PayPal, yogagalactica at gmail.com, or Venmo at yogagalactica. And uh, also, please go to our YouTube 
page, Yoga Galactica, and click subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. And we love you. Have a blessed day. Please reach out. We'd love to hear from you and how you're doing. Any other last words, my love? Um, yeah, I just wanted to just echo Siri. Thank you all so much. Thank you for your beautiful messages. And remember that if you do get into a dark place, um, we are all in this together. Um, remember that we're breathing the same air. We're sitting on the same planet. And we will get through this. And uh, let yourself feel it, you know. But if you need help, please reach out. Reach out. And I just wanted to say thank you, Siri. Your beautiful singing today was just incredible. Mm. Your voice sounded amazing. And um, thank you for all you do. Mm. And uh, all of the poetry today was by Rupi Carr. She is doing a live event this Saturday night. Um, I'm so I haven't visited her page for so long, and I love this woman. If you don't know who she is, I'm going to post all of the poems I read today on our Facebook page and Instagram page. Check her out. Have a have a day. Mwah. We love you. Gracias, Carlos. Thank you, Renata, Benita, Eric.